All right, boom. Like a quarterback in football, you just got hit from the blind side. Seemingly, out of nowhere, you get that dreaded call. Or if you're fooling with a coward, they don't even have the decency to call you or set up a meeting. They send you a text talking about they don't think they can do this no more. They don't know if y'all compatible. Basically saying that they're done. Totally caught you off guard. Because you knew there were a few hiccups. You knew there were a few problems, a few issues. But for the most part, you were happy and thought y'all were moving forward. And they didn't just knock all of the life out of you. All of the air out of your lungs. All of the wind out of your soul. And right now you're in a daze. You're confused. You don't understand why this just happened. And you're thinking, why me? You're on the floor bawling like a baby. I'm here to tell you, I know it hurts. I know it stings. I know you're broken. Nah, you're not broken because you're unbreakable. But right now, you don't remember that. You forgot that you were unbreakable. And I'm here to tell you, I understand it's going to hurt, especially when they hit you from the blind side, you didn't see it coming. And you have to take a little bit of time to deal with the pain, to feel the pain, to overcome the pain, and deal with the hurt, and deal with the heartache, and all, I, I get it. But what I don't want to happen is, I don't want one day to turn into a week. I don't want a week to turn into a month. And you look up six months, a year from now, you're still in the exact same place, and you've totally lost yourself. What I want you to do is get mad. I want you to get angry. I want you to get upset. But not in a vengeful type way. I ain't talking about go cut nobody's tires. I'm not talking about you going to try to fight old boy. Don't catch a case. I want you to get mad in a determined way. I want you to be like Mike. You know the GOAT? Michael Jordan? The greatest basketball player of all time? In his 10th grade year, he didn't make the varsity. There was one spot left, and it was between him and another player. But well, a coach chose the other player. And that lit a fire up under Michael Jordan. And he became determined to prove his coach wrong. And as we all know, the rest is history. Because he went on to have a phenomenal career. And shortly after his career ended, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. And during his speech, <laughs> he made sure to let his coach know because he referenced the story. And he ended the story by simply looking in the camera and saying to his coach, you made a mistake, dude. And so when he sees you, when she sees you living your best life and being the best version of yourself, they need to think that they messed up. They need to know that they messed up. See, the problem is, is that you're bawling and you're whining and you're down and out and you're sad and you're wallowing and you're depressed while they're off living their best life or what they consider their best life. They're not thinking about you anymore. They made their decision. Don't allow them to live and you to die. Right now it's time for you to get busy living. You can't be a doormat your entire life. If your goal is to be a doormat, then go get welcome tattooed on your forehead. Cause my grandma told me when she saw me in a breakup situation, she was like, baby, there are always more fish in the sea. And she said, guess what? Sometimes the new fish is way better than that old fish you had. And she was exactly right. See, somebody caught a 10 pound bass, took a picture. Somebody else caught a 14 pound bass, took a picture. Then somebody came along and caught a 22 pound bass, they took a picture. And you about to lose your mind over a guppy. Come on, bro. Come on, sis. I know it hurts. I know they caught you off guard, but you deserve so much more. You deserve to be treated as the king or queen that you are. So it's time to stop settling. It's time for you to pick yourself back up. And if you feel like you don't have the strength by yourself, find you a positive support group. Find you people that will help push you to get up out of that situation. When you can't push yourself, other people will help push you. But you got to be in the right environment. You got to be in the right surroundings. You can go on. See, that person is out of your life for a reason. Because now we're about to bring somebody else new in your life. That's going to make your new season so much better. So close that chapter and be glad that it's closed. Don't look back. Avoid that rearview mirror at all costs. 
And it's time for you to write your happily ever after. Because we're trying to win. That's the whole goal. For you to climb the hump. Break up or not. And make each and every day of your life a Wednesday. What up, my Wednesday fam? It's your boy, Freddie Fry, and I'm super excited because my Make Every Day a Wednesday book has officially been released. If you're trying to win every day of your life, this is the book for you. I need your support. I need you to click the link in the description or go to freddiefry.com slash book page to get your autographed copy. I thank you in advance.